Hello, thanks for clicking on my video today. I'm going to be going over what I carry around as a gaffer and set lighting technician in my tool pouch. I'll start here on the outside. First of all, I've got a pair of set wear um, leather gloves. I've had these for several years. They, they treat me well, they do their job. And I clip these to the outside with the number one. I don't use a, a little clip like a lot of guys do. I will just clip that onto my pants. And um, I, I find it just as easy as going with the little clip. Um, advantage that I see over doing it this way is that I always have some, uh, a number one on me. I have a second pair of gloves here because leather gloves, um, don't, you don't use a whole lot anymore in my experience. You, um, you use them for your hot lights and that's about it, but you're not using hot lights all that, that regularly. So a pair of gardening gloves, you know, these just kind of keep your hands clean, give your hands a little bit of protection. You know, it's, it's, it's good to have both. Um, important things with these is that these still let you tie knots. Those, those I carry on me. I've got a carabiner here, some hand sanitizer, sign of the times, carry a, a little bit of tape, um, black paper tape, white gaff tape, and some e-tape. Um, small cores are nice for carrying on you. Keep the, the bigger core stuff at the, at the cart or, or wherever, but you, they're kind of bulky to carry around with you. And then some, some C47s, just this, this just goes on my belt. Other things that I just carry on me is I've got a, a little Husky blade here. This is kind of my go-to like knife, go-to cutting device, but I also carry a Leatherman on me. Um, this is more often than not like a quick screwdriver, um, quick pair of pliers. And then up here, let's see, I've got a little pouch here, a little Husky pouch that's labeled um, miscellaneous hardware. Also, I carry some baby pins with me as like a one man band. Um, these are just kind of, I just kind of see these as quick problem solvers. Kind of as a one man band, anything you can do to make anyone else's life easier, um, in turn makes your life easier, but also um, people remember that and you're gonna get called back. In this pouch, some sanitation stuff from a shoot. More sanitation stuff, thank you COVID. And alcohol wipes. That's it on the outside. Now I'm gonna get into the inside of the bag. First of all, I guess let's, let's get into what I carry on me. So I used to, for a long time, was using this Husky pouch and a belt and I had it, as much as I could get in there, I had it, I had it pretty stuffed, stuffed full and I had this belt on and I would clip that on. I'm trying to get away from the full tool belt, like the big pouch. So I have, since retired this, and the, the, what I'm carrying now is just this little Carhartt work pocket. Um, this goes in my back pocket, um, keeps everything still in a place where I know I can reach back and grab it quickly, um, but it's not this big bulky thing. Um, you know, I really worked hard to pare down. So six in one screwdriver, just a Sharpie, that is labeled as such with my name on it. A pen, Klein electrician's scissors. Can actually cut 12 gauge wire with it. I don't really ever need it, need them to do that, but they're just, it just kind of goes to show that they're really, really strong. Um, very like, you know, very hardened steel. Okay, so a crescent wrench. I really deliberated over buying these for a long time. Pliers, wrench pliers. And, um, you know, kind of, so the jaws stay parallel. That's kind of their, their big thing. Um, but they're small, they fit in the hand nice. Um, lots of reviews on YouTube about these, but people seem to really like them. Um, I think I'm really gonna like them. They're, they're significantly lighter than, than the C-Wrench, but um, I'm carrying around both for right now until I build the confidence in these to, to be on set and need to grab a C wrench really quickly and just like know that this is gonna do the job and, and do, it, do it well and do it fast. So now I'm carrying both. Got a couple meters, so 
multimeter fluke 323. My other meter that I carry is a light meter. If I'm gripping or just kind of like, you know, working as a swing, this is a little hack that I picked up that I saw someone else do. You throw, poke a hole in it, throw a sash, and you can throw it on your carabiner. Klein, eight inch diagonal cutters. Craftsman socket wrench with the, what do they call it? The, the gator grip. So this will kind of fit, these will fit really anything, um, square pegs or whatever. Klein wire cutters, wire strippers rather. Multi-bit screwdriver. This one's actually magnetic. Moving down the list, a couple of pens, extra box cutter, little levels to fit in your pocket easy. A tiny screwdriver. This actually, um, this fits really well the, uh, the light mat, like the older style that you still see everywhere. Um, those little connectors that are always coming loose and stuff. Um, little, little pen flashlight, another cheapo spare flashlight. Um, a lighter, a little multi-screwdriver. This actually has a, a number of bits. These are tiny, um, like almost eyeglass size bits. A few triple A's, non-contact voltage tester, a uh, fat Sharpie, a couple of carabiners. These are rated for climbing, so they can hold some weight. And three sets of Allen wrenches. I've got Let's see, standard, metric, and Torx. Uh, just one T-handle, a 3 16 laser distance measurer. Great thing to have. Kind of the smaller stuff, having these little pouches, just kind of use it as, as organization inside the bag. Eye protection, um, because Netflix requires that you wear eye protection on set currently pain in the butt a line splitter so this is a diy fits nicely in the bag but basically if you want to know how much power something is drawing you kind of plug this in line and then you use your amp clamp go around the, the hot wire and it'll tell you how much um, amperage one item is using here is an earpiece and my earpiece has a ear mold and I've got the, the walkie woogie. Some extra walkie stuff. And here's a second walkie. Just, uh, you know, just kind of like spare pieces. Some bailing wire, a few odd C47s, some wire nuts, um, a little bag. It's empty, just kind of like if I'm working on something, if I'm pulling little pieces out or whatever, just kind of have like a little spot that I can put little pieces and I know they're not gonna get lost. Some gel swatch books, Roscoe and Lee, just to have as a reference. Some spare E-tape, some plumbing tape, um, micro cord, just another option for lightweight tie down stuff. Um, got some I think it's 18 gauge wired spare blades. I've got a whole, I've got like one of the giant packs and a cube tap and a, an outlet circuit tester. It's usually good to have a cube tap in your pocket. So if I keep them together like this, then I'll just throw them in my pocket. A tape measure, 25 foot Stanley. Also got a little 10 foot Stanley, some ibuprofen. Bottle hand sani, little digital AC voltmeter. So that's it. This is the stuff that comes with me every time I go to set. If you found this helpful, let me know. Happy to keep going and keep making content about this stuff, about Grip and Electric, as long as you're interested, as long as there's interest in general. So yeah, thanks for watching.